Hey guys, welcome back to another part of Jack and Dash of the Precursor Legacy. This is part 20, and the last part we finished off the spider cave and got those power cells from the oracle. This part, we're heading on up to the snowy mountain. The last major area of the game before we head off through the lava tube and off towards Golemite Citadel. So, um, I do enjoy this part, or this area, I like it, it's not... I mean, there's things in it I don't like, but maybe it's just because it's snow base, which, um, living in Arizona, I don't really see any at all. I haven't been around snow since I was like eight. Yes, no lurkers continually spawn out of the snow. So you can't kill them all, and that right there is like a precursor stopper or some crap. Ooh, look, a scaffold. Anyways, yeah, those are like precursor stoppers. You jump on them, and the stupid glowy shield thing around them goes away. So, wow. You gotta take it out. There's a bunch of them. You gotta jump on top. And once you take care of all of them, you get a power cell, so do that. Alright, so let's set up the long jump through all these. Ah. Uh, moved out too far. Alright, come on. Uh, great, I can't even see. Thanks, game. Phew. Uh, yeah. Let's just move. And look, a nice monster over there. Alright, what this guy will do is protrude. I'll have ice spikes protrude out of his body. Just gotta avoid him. He'll slow down. The spikes will retract because he's an idiot. And that's when you hit him. Anyways, set up here. Avoid these snowballs. Got a few more. I'm pretty sure they're called precursor stoppers. Yeah. So just take out the little energy shield thing around each of them. Get these precursor orbs, and right here, I think this is the first red eco event we've ever seen. This only area to have those. Well, actually, no, it's not. There's another area later. But, anyways, yeah, you're gonna need it. Yep, this is the first spot where the lurkers are trying to break dark eco out of the ice. So, here, you need the red eco to break that dude's shield. So, use the red eco for that. Take him out. And there we go. Okay, I think did I get everything? Oh, I probably get some green eco here. All right, let's just get that. Dun, dun, dun. So yeah, I like this area. There's some fun levels in it. There's some fun power cells to get in it. I think at least. All right, so. Let's go over here, take out this lurker, get a few more ego orbs, take out this dude, grab all these precursor orbs, and alright, let's drop down here. Oh, don't wanna grab that, okay. Now watch out, there's more annoying lurkers, and those stupid tiny jumping hyperactive lurkers are the most annoying thing on the face of the earth. Yeah. Uh, you'll see why. In this part, I think. In this part, yeah, you should be able to get to that. In this part, it's pretty close. And also, a few parts after this, probably it will be. You'll see these guys be. So look, another red eco event. Guess what that means? We're near the next um, location where they're trying to break the dark eco crates of ice. So. Take out those layers, let's do a drop down, break his shield, take him out. Alright, got only one more left to take care of. May get to it in this part, we'll see. I'm just trying to get everything as I go through here. Rather than dashing through because they're somewhat spaced out throughout the level. So anyways, to get back up, you're gonna have to jump through all these platforms. So do this over there. Okay, yeah. Alright, so next, we'll be crossing the bridge on over, and it's icy, so keep that in mind. Yeah. Ice is really annoying in this game just because, well, I guess the feel the physics are pretty dang realistic here. Like, there's not much directional influence in this game, basically, so... 
you can't really utilize that to help you with the ice so much. Like, if you jump on the ice, you'll keep sliding depending on how much momentum you had with the, the like, fly based on the momentum you had with the ice. So better that in mind, like, moving the analog stick in one direction or the other really isn't going to affect it too much. So, yeah, let's get this one, and... Oh, no. Yeah, that one's pretty dangerous. Because it'll knock you down, and I spawn all the way back here. That's nice. Thanks, game. Okay. Ah, let's head back over here. Stupid ice. Yeah, I really don't like the ice. So. Just because of the lack of really any directional influence, but yeah. If you don't know what directional influence is, it's basically a thing in games where you move, tell your character to move in a certain direction like when they're in midair or something and they'll change direction while in midair. Like it'll affect their progress and oh, I shouldn't have spun. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, come on. Let's take care of this already. Yeah, we're like really close to that stupid annoying power cell with these annoying little lurker things. So let's head on over here. Oh no. Gosh dang. Ah, that spin was not a good idea. Let's leave it at that. Carried me a lot further with that spin. Right, so double jumping should probably do it. Hopefully, it's better to miss short than long, since you won't get knocked off the edge. And let's just avoid these jerks and head on over here. Look, we got another precursor stopper. Annoying little freaking lurker things. Okay, let's get this green eco. Okay, now let's take care of that precursor stopper. And, uh, I messed that up. Alright, anyways. Well, at least those shields don't hurt you. Yeah, so wait for this platform. Oh. Whew, I thought they would stop, but no. So, more ready to go. No, it's not another one of those. Yeah, there's a crap ton of these guys. And you can actually break Dark Eagle boxes with Red Eagle because of how it expands your hitbox. So you can safely do that now. So just spam the crud out of circle and you should be able to take care of this stupid annoying thing. Okay. Almost done with him, so yeah, that's all. It can be kind of annoying, but just spam circle and you should be fine. There we got another power cell. Actually, this might be the first power. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the first power cell we've gotten in this part. Kind of working towards others, but haven't gotten there yet since the other things we've been working on are spread out. Alright, so let's head over here. Take out these jerks. That fortress right there, you can't get in yet. You gotta open the door. And to do so, you're gonna need the flood flood. So, I'm not sure we'll be able to get to that in this part. We'll see. I mean, we're almost... We're already at like 8 minutes, so... Probably not. But yeah, actually. And look at those trees. Remember what Gordy was... Or Willard? Yeah, Willard was telling us about. I mean, it seems more like a Gordy and then... Other dude should be Willard. But whatever. So yeah. Hidden behind these trees, really good. Got this path up to you know, eco vent switch and annoying ice. Oh jeez, that's another thing with this whole thing. And the eye doesn't help you, so you gotta use the momentum from the ice to jump on over there. And I'm failing. Oh, phew. Huh. <laughs> that was nice. Thank you, game. You actually helped me for once. I thought I was dead there, but I'm not gonna complain. Alright, some more eyes. And, oh crap. Yeah. Be wary of that. Yeah, ice is annoying. This game, I don't really like it much. Okay. Let's try to use that ice a little. Gives a little more momentum, gives more distance with that jump. That's kind of how the physics come into play here. Okay. Let's wait, stay over here so we kind of have that momentum to our jump. Now let's go. 
right over here onto the ice. Wait for this thing to come by. Alright, let's go. Platform should be there yet. Alright, so let's head on over here. Grab these precursor orbs. And once again, Jack can show off how fat he is. Yeah, so now all the illegal events have been opened all over the place. So we can go back to Mountain Pass and Spider Cave. We won't be doing that in the next part, though. Next part, we'll finish up Snowy Mountain. See you guys later.